Okay. I'm gonna change Wait. it properly. <laughs> we should be live. <laughs> mm. Okay, so hello everyone. This is Let's Describe and Predict number two. And I'm gonna refresh the screen on my phone. Ah, I think we're live. Should be live. And, and Chloe's on gravity number one. All right. Yes. So I have a guest today. Who's my guest? He's down there. Can you introduce yourself? My name is Chloe, and you, that was the first time in a video that I was in gravity, and uh, I liked it. Uh huh. So hello, everyone. It was not acceptable. Okay, so we have some people in the comments. Let's say hello to them before we jump okay. into our lesson. So we have yes for English forever and la boy cookie. Uh huh. Uh huh. So I say hello to everyone in the comments. And let's see, what are we doing in this live English lesson? Right. Ooh, there we are. Okay, so it's a live English lesson. We are live talking to you right now. I wish my background is fake, so I'm not really, you know, up in the sky like a bird. But Okay, so in this lesson, we're going to describe pictures. We have three pictures here. <clears throat> and I've showed Chloe's the pictures. But I have not showed her what's going to happen next. What What's going to happen next, Chloe? I do not know. Well, the pictures will become videos. I think I told you that. Uh, help, help me yeah, out. I didn't know what the videos would look like. Right. Right. So you, she doesn't know what the videos will be. So just like whoever's watching right now, we're going to describe and then do some predictions. Here we go. Describe pictures and then we're going to predict what will happen. So let's see, Corey, do you have anything you'd like to say before we jump in? Yes, I do. Go ahead, you can tell um, them. I will. <laughs> Earlier today at the mall, me and my dad were actually playing chess. And for once, I beat him. Yes, yes, my daughter finally beat me at chess, which is good. <sighs> Bad for me, but good for her because she's improving. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so cheers. Oh, I got to make sure the music's playing in the background. Can you hear it, Chloe? Okay. Nice piano music. All right. Okay, here we go. This is... <laughs> This is the first picture. <clears throat> okay. So, it's it's kind of blurry, right? But tell me, what are we looking at? We're looking at a kid opening a drawer. I think it's like clothes in there. Okay. And there's a dog. Uh-huh. And what do you think the dog's doing? Sniffing. Okay. What do you mean by sniff sniffing? Like smelling by its nose. Ah, so if we say someone is sniffing, it's like, right? All right, the dog might be sniffing, I don't know, the drawer. All right, how I old? Think... Go ahead. No, go. I say, how old do you think the kid is? By looking at the back? Probably and... three. <laughs> okay, and let's just say hello to more people in the comments. Let's see, Leila Almeida is here. Hi, and Leah Hood is here. Say hi. All right. We'll put those over there. Wonderful. So we have a little kid. And can you describe, Chloe, what the kid is doing with it, the his or her right hand? What, what is it? What's doing? Um, it's doing... It's opening a drawer. Uh-huh. And how does it open the drawer? What does a child have to grab? Pulling. <clears throat> right and pulling the um, handle huh right exactly is open a drawer by pulling the handle right so it's I know it's blurry can't really see but what room do you think they're in Chloe the bathroom okay what other possibilities are there the kitchen okay and what makes you think the bathroom or the kitchen well, the bathroom looks a little bit like um, at the top, at the edge, the left side, uh -huh. at le left edge. I can actually see a little bit of white spot, and that's a little tiny bit like our bathroom, so. Ah, and what is that white thing? Probably a desk. Uh, well, not really a desk, but like, um, <laughs> um, uh -huh. I don't know. Like a countertop? 
Exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right, let's see. In the comments we have, yes for English forever says the dog is watching the baby. Huh? To keep him. Ooh. What do you think, Chloe? What is the purpose? Why is the dog there? Probably because guarding the baby because I've actually seen a few videos on YouTube before that actually um, some parents they just buy a dog a big one or a small dog um, just to protect the kid ah okay and can you think of another way to say guarding instead of using the word guarding? protecting okay how about another one affecting no I wanted that to rhyme Let's see. I can think of another one, but it's two words. I could say the dog guardian. is. Say that again. Guardian. Okay, we could say maybe the dog is the baby's guardian. Uh, godfather. God. Uh, <laughs> God. Uh, dog father. Well, yeah, father that, dog father. That would be kind of <laughs> weird. How about this? The dog is watching over. What do you think? Maybe. That's not one word, though. Yeah, it's two words, but it's the same idea. Uh -huh. So maybe guardian. Guardian seems kind of strong, like there's a threat. If there's a threat, what kind of threat might there be that might hurt the baby or harm the baby? What do you think? If he eats his fingernails or... <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. uh, if they attack. Uh -huh. okay. Especially the big dogs, like the pit bull and all that stuff. Like, yeah, I think the pit bull is actually one of the most um, dangerous species hmm. that it says. Let's see. Ooh. You said pit bull, right? So I assume pit you're bull. talking about... A dog. Right. Let's make sure. This is a pit bull. All right. They have very powerful jaws. Like, super powerful. Huh? Probably more powerful than mine. Uh, yes. <laughs> I get someone, a baby could just be like this, like punching my cheeks a little with the hand, and I'd be like, oh. but then the dog, she, it would be like, Arr! and bite off that finger. And I would be like <laughs> running away. See, these are my arms running away. Oh, no, see my background? I would be flying away. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. So, should we do pronunciation? What do you think? All right. You want to get on with it. All right. So, you want to read first, or should I read first? I'll read first. Okay. So you read, then I'll read, and then I'll pause. So anybody out in the audience, mm -hmm. you can do pronunciation too. Go ahead, Chloe. Okay. We see a kid opening a drawer. There might be clothes inside. There's a dog. The dog might be sniffing the drawer. Okay. We see a kid opening a drawer. There might be clothes inside there's a dog the dog might be sniffing the drawer if i was that dog i'd be eating it okay so this is where we pause and we let the viewers do uh pronunciation <laughs> okay okay so let's see if you're in the comments and you're doing pronunciation put some apples in the comments it lets us know that you are participating all right so let's try this again chloe you read, and then I'll read, and then I'll pause for about the same time it takes us to read it. All right? Go ahead, kiddo. Okay. Uh, if, if I was a dog, I would still eat it. Mm. I mean, <laughs> do pronunciation. <laughs> the kid is opening a drawer by pulling the handle. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> My turn. So after I say it, you guys in the audience, repeat out loud after me. And if you're doing pronunciation, put some apples in the comments. Here we go. The kid is opening a drawer by pulling the handle. Okay. All right. Go ahead, Chloe. They might be in the bathroom or the kitchen. On the left, it looks like there might be a countertop. They might be in the bathroom or the kitchen. On the left, it looks like there might be a countertop. Okay. <clears throat> nice, beautiful noise music in the background. Yeah. All right. I actually, it would be really nice if actually there was like, okay, 
uh, sorry, but actually there's actually a video that I think would actually be funny. I don't think there's a video like this, but what my imagination, there's like this girl, she's doing like the beautiful music, like gently and soft on the piano. Then the baby comes up and then it's like, dong, dong. <laughs> well, I thought you were gonna say it. so. She's like dong dong, and the dog like attacks her leg. <laughs> okay, we have a question. We have... <laughs> My stomach hurts. Uh, we 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 need to stay serious here. We have a question in the comments. <clears throat> All right. So Layla Almeida said countertop. Let's see. Before I show pictures, Chloe, can you explain what is a countertop? A countertop is when... Usually a countertop is like... Or what do we use it for? It How about that? Well, you could use it for like... If it's for the bathroom, you could use it for a sink. Um, you could brush your teeth, you could jump on it and dance and probably break it. And you could um, French braid your hair like me. Okay, let's Why answer the question. What is the oh. purpose of a countertop? <laughs> uh, the purpose? Kitchen. Um, probably like cutting up stuff. Ah. So you, you, could have a, you could have a kitchen countertop. You could have a bathroom countertop. So should we show them a picture? You what could have is... a water car countertop. You can, but you could put your water on the countertop. So here to answer the question, this is a countertop. It's just the surface of the top part of like on top of the cabinets where you can prepare food, you can put things, you can do all that. So this is a countertop. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it can be adapted to the wall. Sure, right. This is kind of an island where it's out in the middle yeah. of the kitchen area. But it's very common yeah. like like this, right? I would say, yeah, usually. That picture that you just showed, like the, the white one in the middle, like the island, mm -hmm. I would usually say like seven people could eat there, maybe. I cannot disagree. Thank you. All right. So let's move forward. Let's go to, oh, what is your prediction? And in the comments as well, what is your prediction? Let me put it here. What is your prediction? about what will happen when this picture becomes a video let me fix my what <laughs> okay what do you think Koi? what is your prediction about what will happen when this picture becomes I, a video i have two predictions okay. the first prediction is that the baby is going to slam it and then after that the nose is going to be inside so it will hurt the dog Ah. And the second one is um, that the baby's gonna just like, slam it, and then the dog's like, uh, or the baby's like opening it, the dog's like uh, closing it. And the baby's like opening it, the dog's like closing it. Ah. So the baby will keep op or trying to open? And then the dog will keep closing it. Ah, okay. And the dog will keep closing it. Okay, so we have two predictions here. So I can put a one. And the two, and let's take a look at the comments. Does anybody have a prediction for what will happen? All right, let's see. Leah Huda says the toddler is like saying to the dog, get off my back and I have a bigger fish to fry. <laughs> Do you know the saying, Chloe, the idiom, bigger fish to fry? Ooh, did I keep it a secret or? It, it just means that you have something more important to do. You're like, oh, I have something, I have bigger fish to fry. I have other important things to do. The yes I've never fried fish before. Okay. Yes for English Forever says, where are the parents? Good question. Hopefully they didn't leave the dog to do the babysitting. But here we go. Let's take a look at the video. They're probably taking the video. Yeah, exactly. Here we go. Let's take a look. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. All right, describe, Chloe, what's happening in the video. The dog is pushing it close uh -huh. and trying to close it, and the uh, baby is opening it, trying okay. to open it at least. I was right. Ding, ding. So we can say the dog ding, ding. is closing the drawer. 
each time the kid opens it. Opens it. Uh huh. So eventually, what do you think will happen? The kid will what? Get tired. Or fall asleep. How about cry? Do you think he or might hit cry? The dog. <laughs> hit the dog. <laughs> well, that's good. So we'll see. We have possibilities. The kid will get tired. Uh, hit the dog. Or or, or maybe start it crying. would be like okay. it has been rehearsing the sentence. Uh, Mom should have never adopted you. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. All right. Let's see. Yeah. We have a comment. Uh, Leahuda says the mom is taking the picture of her toddler and caught him red-handed. Ooh, we have a good idiom to catch someone red-handed. What does that mean, Claude? You know. I caught someone. Like for example, if someone's stealing something, ah. um, and then other person sees it, they're caught, caught off red-handed. Uh huh. Uh huh. So it's like two. I don't really have a red hand though. It's to see someone at the moment they're doing something wrong. And that's a long definition. But if you catch someone red-handed, they're in the moment of doing something they shouldn't be doing. Huh? All right, let's see. Uh, let's see. Yes, for English forever says bigger fish to fry. Nice idiom. Sounds tasty. Yes, for English criminal say, says criminal. All right. Okay, so looks like the dog just is kind of protecting the kid. Why is this a good thing, Chloe? What do you think? Because the kid could be like putting its hands into the drawer and there's that it would like shut. Ah, right. And it would slam shut. You could say slam shut and get pinched. And the kid's like going to be like, yeah. yeah, right. Probably not like that, like <clears throat> crying. Yeah. I like mine. But I like mine better. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Anyway, I, I think after this, I'm going to have to watch some of the videos when I was a kid. Okay. Okay. Are you ready for picture number two? No? Uh, yeah. Yes. You've been waiting since last night. Now I bring you picture number two. More like today. <laughs> okay. So, tell me what you see, Chloe. I see a computer, a uh, typing, typing board, um, a man dressed uh -huh. in a suit and a tie, and yeah. And a, te a telephone, telephone, that's true. Okay. And almost everything's white and black. Okay. Is pretty much white and black. black. All right, and what do you think he's doing? Probably <clears throat> doing an article, maybe. You mean like typing and- Typing something. Okay. And probably, um, maybe it's actually doing like, he's like frustrated. He seems a little frustrated. Okay. Why do you say that? Well, he looks frustrated. He's like, <laughs> can we I say because he's chewing on his tongue? Can we say that? Yeah, we could. Huh. And is it, he, he could be frustrated or maybe really focused. Ooh, here's interesting. Yes, for English Forever says he's looking for secrets. Uh, what kind of secrets? <laughs> Maybe um, that uh, Tom was actually boiling, boiling an egg when he said he was allergic to eggs. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he's like an online hacker and he likes to wear a suit and he's finding different mm -hmm. people's secrets. I don't know. Uh huh. All right, Lehu says a man is, is doing multitasking. We would say a man is multitasking. We don't need to have doing in there. And he is overwhelmed, sure. But what does overwhelmed mean? Um, I know what the word means, um, but I also know what outnumbered means, but overwhelmed means like um, it has a, a lot of stuff coming in at once, like trying to like, like pro uh, one of the I think in China, um, you have to like, um, 
when the Beijing, I think, when、uh -huh. the kids are like reading, they have to go like really fast. It's like competition of reading. It's like overwhelming them. They have to read it. Uh huh. Well, so it's, it's kind of overwhelming us. So it's、yeah. kind of like too much、mm -hmm. all at once. So this would be overwhelmed. You have too much to do, and you know I can't、mm -hmm. do that with my hair, but you could if you really wanted to. Oh yeah. Okay, all right. Did I copy it? <laughs> right. All right. So we could say this lady is overwhelmed. She's upset. Too much work. Or something. Right. Okay. Too busy. Yes. Yes. Right, let's go back. All right. So and let's take a look. Another comment here、It、says the man is concentrating on his project, and that leads us to the idiom he is on a hamster wheel. I guess, hamster wheel, that he's doing the same thing. I'm, I'm not. There's a lot of idioms. There's like twenty-two, twenty-five thousand idioms. So I can't say I'm familiar with all of them, but I think I do get the meaning that on a hamster wheel would be that he's doing the same thing over and over and not really getting anywhere. Because if we look at a hamster wheel, I used to have a hamster back in college. I used to have a rabbit、um, with my cousin that died like one week later. Yes, so we have the hamster wheel here, and then, right? So the hamster just keeps running on the wheel. You know how exciting that is, but he just goes around and around, and he doesn't go anywhere. All right. I okay. I don't think that's so exciting, though. Lately, <laughs> see, it's just exercise. Okay. All right, Chloe.、Oh, so let's watch the video. Are you ready? This is just—it's、yes, just like a. Just,、oh, my prediction. Oh yeah, yeah, your prediction. I think he's gonna bang his head or like type really fast.、Ah. Or like maybe like turn around him like okay finished, and then it, it's actually、um, doing film. You say type really fast and bang his head. Or bang his head. Okay. On or what? Or there's actually. On the computer or on the floor or something like that. Okay. Yeah, and also he might be like turning around. He be like, "I'll finish," and they're set there like in a film. Someone, you mean someone's like recording him? Yeah, in a movie.、Uh, okay. Maybe he's in、My、a movie. My predictions. And he's going to stop working and say finished. Yeah, probably. I think. Okay. Happen, okay. Really. All right. So let's see. <clears throat> Here is the video. <laughs> I did not see that coming. Uh huh. So explain. <laughs> Put it into English. What do we see? It's a different hand. Uh huh. And they were drinking coffee. So there's a third hand. Can you say? Yeah. All right. I think the right hand is his, but the left hand is not. Okay. Have you watched these videos yet? I've seen them. Yes. I had to pre-select pre-select them, right? All right. So Leah Huda says extra hand. So this is a good question, Koi. Do you think he is、uh, actually working? No. Or is he just kind of slacking off? Maybe hacking someone.、Ooh. Like some something I would do, or、uh, one of my friends would do. But let's talk about what does slacking off mean? Not doing what you're supposed to do. Maybe、ah. like slower than you could go, than your full capability. Uh huh. Not being lazy and not performing、mm -hmm. to your full potential. That hand's kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah. So what what do you think? Is it the hand? Is it a real hand, or do you think it's like a computer? I think it might be a real hand. Like someone's like down there, be like. <laughs> yeah, that. Am I be... finished yet? <laughs> Did the did the boss go away yet? Uh huh. Uh huh. 
So if the if the police came in, they're like, put your hands up. He'd be like, he'd be like, and then one would be like, <laughs> <laughs> or it would be like three of them would go up, and then he'll be like, uh huh. Okay. Mm-hmm. So there was a secret hand. Mm-hmm. All right. So shall we go to uh the next one, the last one. Last one. Uh huh. Uh huh. Before we should say. A comment. He is sipping. The who said he is sipping, right? So he coffee, maybe tea, he's, water. Right, right. He's sipping. Uh, Probably coffee though. I think. All right, we'll say he's sipping coffee. Right. I made some wild guesses. None of them were even close. This this was even wilder. Okay, so we have a. If I had to summarize this video, I would say there's a guy. Who seems to be really focused and uh, working hard. However, his secret comes becomes clear when he goes to drink a cup of coffee. Because suddenly we realize there's either a fake hand or some creepy person underneath going tick -a -tick -a -tick -a -tick -a -tick. maybe <laughs> with, without the noise. But yeah, so it's just kind of weird. Hmm? <laughs> All right, let's see. We have a new person in the comments. Sally Yunus says hello. We'll say hello, hello. All right. Yes, for, for English Forever says drink slowly is sip. Yes. So if you sip, you take small amounts. And it's maybe the coffee is too hot or you just don't want to drink it too quickly. When I drink coffee, I always sip it because I usually only can have like one glass of it. So then it would be like, enjoy it. Because I probably won't have it for like the next actual month or week are we getting off coffee. track here <laughs> well it is kind of a little bit about coffee uh-huh all right so without further ado here is picture <clears throat> number three are you ready no no yes. choice here it comes <laughs> jesus what kind of hopes is this <laughs> Best. okay here you go so, can you describe what you see and the location? Go nuts. Uh, okay, I see a girl with braided hair. Maybe it's a Dutch braid or maybe it's a French Ooh. braid. Looks more like a French braid, actually. And um, she's actually uh, smiling a little. Huh? And she also has a monkey, like a toy monkey. And then she's in a she's in a car. <laughs> and then I said she's probably like, driving. Someone driving, maybe. Uh huh. And yeah, she probably has a French braid though. I think it looks more like a French braid than a Dutch braid. Maybe she's a normal braid. Because I see the hair is actually like pulled up a little bit, so it might be like a French braid. <laughs> oh, maybe a Dutch braid. <laughs> uh, French or Dutch braid? I'm we'll, on. <laughs> we'll, we'll show the people what this means, okay? Let's see. So we're talking about hair it, now. Hair is not, really is not my anything. expertise. All right, so what do you want to see first, French braid or Dutch braid? I think French braid's good, because usually, um, I think most people usually uh, like uh, Dutch braid better than French braid, because there's actually a difference between French braids and um, Dutch braids, is that I've actually done it before, just I haven't really perfected my Dutch braid. The French braid is when, just say, for example, you start from here, not from the top, you start from here and just like braid like normally, like, on top and then just instead like start from here that's called uh, sometimes you can do two and sometimes you can do one um like the girl with long hair and then after that um yeah okay and then after that what's the uh, other one that's French, French 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 okay no and Dutch 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 so it's yeah. a way of styling your hair yeah and then Dutch braid it actually pops out more so um yeah so basically it's like a Dutch braid is actually like, instead of going on top, you go under. And it, mm. at the bottom, it seems bigger. Depends how long your hair is usually, I think. It's like, if it's like really short, I think it'll look big. But yeah. And which do you, you prefer? Dutch braid or French braid? <laughs> right now, French braid, because I'm much better at the French braid than Dutch braid. Because I remember just a few days ago, like two days ago, I actually tried to do the, a Dutch, a French braid. Uh, that's right. It was embarrassing. <laughs> okay. So I would never go out with that look. 
Well, so what do you think? In this picture, what do you think? Is it a French braid or a Dutch braid or we can't tell? Maybe a normal braid. What is a normal braid? We can look. Just braid. Like braided hair? Braid. Okay. Well, this is a normal braid? And no. No. There is... Okay, put normal braid. Okay. when it's like this um, one uh, uh, yeah okay. it, the difference is that you, it's actually starting from the bottom instead of the top that's called the normal braid to me I don't really know what it says but yeah basics braid mm-hmm. back to basics the braid yeah braids and hair just don't aren't part of my I actually have a braid right now right here uh-huh. on both sides and yours would be a french braid dutch braid or a normal braid Normal break. Normal break. So I start talking just like ended right here. Okay. All right. So back to the back whole... to the uh, no back to the uh, uh, break. <laughs> My obsession. I how, can't get it right. How how old do you think this lady is? Forty. Forty. <laughs> <laughs> she could be wearing makeup. Uh, this young thing. I think she maybe like. In her early twenties or a teenager, okay. she looks like that. But I don't think she's a kid. So we'll say she looks a bit in her early twenties or late teens, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Maybe thirteen. Well. Not agree. Because uh, people in Indonesia they think I'm twenty sometimes. Okay. I feel like a grandma then. All right. So she's. I don't think ho- you even look that old. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So anyway, so she's holding the toy, and what what is your prediction? Or do you want to add anything else about the picture? Oh, what is she wearing? What kind of clothing? She's wearing a hoodie, I think. A jacket, a sweater. Uh huh. A hoodie, which is a sweatshirt jacket. Oh, I love hoodies. I don't really have any. All right, let's put it into the picture so people can see what is a hoodie. I especially like the black ones. It's nice. Right, I so like the ones that have like the the hood. Uh huh. Okay, so the hoodie hood is just a sweatshirt that has a hood, right? And then it has a strings like where you can tie it. E hood uh-huh. E <laughs> hoodie. You, you can also say a hooded sweatshirt. Or a sweater, maybe. Ooh, be a little bit different. So see, it's just a, a hooded sweatshirt. And a sweatshirt is just nice, very comfortable material. You could have sweatpants. Mm. So they're good for exercise. They're good for hanging around, walking around. Not meant for weddings. Not meant for funerals. Oh, good idea! I'll use that. I'll just wear. I'll just wear a, a red, which is Chinese, uh, for Chinese New Year's best. So if people will be like, "What the heck is she wearing?" and I'll be like. In this Chinese New Year, they're like, "No, this is a funeral." I will. Like, oh, okay, I'm not changing. Uh-huh. And they're like, <laughs> so "We'll say she's wearing a black hoodie, uh, with mm-hmm. some sort of logo on the front." George, I think I should start doing that. Like maybe a little bit here and there. Kind of nice. Sure. She pro- this girl probably has very long hair when she undoes the braids, right? Okay. Yeah, but I don't think it's like such a big difference when you unbraid it because my hair is about like right here uh-huh. and my braid's about close to there, just a little bit up. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm asking, what are your predictions? That a car maybe hit them. Okay. Or so they'll get in, hit them. Get in, they'll oh, get in oh, an oh. accident? Yeah. Or maybe... Uh, the world just makes a face, a, like funny face, or the monkey actually makes a sound and she's like, like frightened. So the yeah. toy monkey. Yeah. As usual, sound. three predictions. <laughs> what was the second one? <laughs> Excuse me. So we have the they they'll get in an accident in an accident when a car hits them. She just make a weird face, like even though the it doesn't make a sound, she's just like. 
Oh, the girl would make maybe a weird face. Like music at the yeah, or maybe there's like a oh, uh, music at the end, like dun dun dun. Okay. Or maybe she'll be like, oh, uh, don't put this in. But maybe she'll actually be like, like do the video, like put it up, then she'll be like. Uh huh. I don't know. <laughs> huh? Let's take a look at the comments. Let's see. Lihura says, I assume she wants to show off her exclusive toy to her friends through social media. Then we have some ages, 23, 23. She's taking a selfie and she's like, look guys, I got this for my birthday. And guess what is from my boyfriend? And he's cheap. <laughs> um, maybe ex-boyfriend now. Mm. Let's see. Yes, Mrs. <laughs> Trevor says, a remote control robot. Interesting. Ooh, well, good. let's get on with it. Imagination. Okay, so you ready to see the video? Yeah, I think I should actually do that with my hair. I think it would be nice. Okay, okay. Well, let's see what happens. Okay. Here we go. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's totally a French braid. <laughs> She actually, she has two braids down, one down either side of her head. But yeah, she's like, you can see right there. Uh huh. But that's not the point. It was like, it was like, even though, sorry, but the funny part was that even though she got hit close to the eye, it was actually that everybody was like, oh, sure, right? Oh, where'd it come from? Me? Oh, that's probably a front braid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, how would you describe what happened? Can you walk us through it? Well, the monkey and actually shoot like a ball thing. Ah, so she's. I thought it was like attacked to the thing. What did she do and with she her hand? Like, crushed it. Yes. Crushed it a little. So she's. And it came to her eye. So it was like kind of funny. She was like. Ah, <laughs> uh, she squeezed she's the monkey's, so I guess, stomach. Yeah, you need to give me the video later. <laughs> And then I'll just laugh at it. She squeezed the monkey's stomach and his his nose uh, shot out like a missile. I think the mouth. Is it a mouth or his nose? I think the mouth. It looks more like a mouth. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Maybe. And, and his nose or... Huh? I think his mouth is like on the sides, isn't it? And then his nose... Let's see. And his nose shot out like a missile. The is it a ball? I guess the red ball. What did the red ball do? How would you Ooh. describe it next? It hit her eye, her right eye. If you're sitting like this, right eye, left to us. But what did it do before it hit her eye? How do we describe oh, that? Oh, it was like bounced. Uh huh. Hey, okay, the ball bounced. Oops, bounced. Yeah, but it was quite weird. It was like. Everybody, everybody must have been like, oh, look at the thing. Oh, look, there's a hole. Me? That's totally a French braid. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> so we could say the red ball bounced off. Maybe the dashboard of the car, we'll say. Yeah. Just, it was like, I, 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 sorry, but Go actually, ahead. I, did, I just think this is quite funny, actually, because it was like, um, she just like hit her head. And then the first thing I noticed, even though it was kind of funny, oh, French braid. <laughs> Heard you. Mm -hmm. Wait, maybe the dash break. Well, look. That's actually more popped out. Maybe dutch break. I don't know. Okay, so we can say the red ball bounced off the dashboard of the car and came back and hit her directly in the eye. And when we say yeah, the but dash. She's close to eye in time, I think, Will. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> she had good reaction time. Let's see. So this is the dashboard of a car. So it could be this part, maybe it's the other part long way, and it just bounced off and hit her perfectly in the eye, directly in the eye. But it looks like she has cat-like reflexes because she was able to close her eye in time. However, the girl has cat, uh, cat-like reflexes and was and able to <laughs> close. Maybe she could use that for weapon. Yes. Do you, think, herself, do you think, did she know what was going to happen? 
No. Or else she would be like this, maybe. Huh. Huh. Or just not looking at all. But those are probably French braids or Dutch braids. I don't know. Tired of talking about braids. I just talked about it for like two minutes. Okay. Like 30. All right. So let's see. This was video number three. This was video number two. It comes here. Okay, you stop the video. <laughs> yeah, stop it right there. I said it. And then this one is video number one. Which one did you like the best? Third, because it made me laugh. Yeah. The third one was kind of unpredictable. And just perfectly hit the spot and came yeah. right back. Could have been here, I like here. Her front, uh, I like her braids. Huh? I like how she's like a little bit front. I should try that. I'll try it later. Okay. So. I'll do that. Let's see. I have long enough hair. Let's review what we did today. Today we did let's describe and predict, and it was number two. All right. So today we, well, let's see. Did we? Did we describe pictures? We did. Check. Did we predict predict what will happen? You did. So yes. Yes, but you almost forgot to predict it on the second one. Ah. Shame. Well, that's why I need a co-host to help me out. I appreciate it. Shame. All right, so let me do my closing, and then we'll look at a picture at the end, okay? Mm -hmm. Right, so improve your English, become more valuable. More valuable. So, this is the idea that you improve your skills. <clears throat> English. I'm still trying to copy this, but where's my glasses? No. <clears throat> so improve your English, become more valuable, because you have more skills. You can do more things. Mm -hmm. All right, if you like our stuff here on YouTube, Make sure to subscribe and click on the like button. It lets us know that we're, you know, you like what we're doing. And if you're already subscribed, you can click on the bell button. There is a thing and click on it and uh, YouTube will let you know when we have a new video. All right. So let's take a look at the last picture. We'll talk about it. Surprise. <laughs> okay. She has a big nose. She had, oh, is Right? It's a fake one, right? She has a mustache. She has mm -hmm. kind of nice hair that would probably look good for braids. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Especially Dutch braids. Okay. Oh, yeah. I actually didn't know that Dutch braids. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Okay. So uh, she was, she's actually wearing um, a mustache, a fake mustache, fake big furry eyebrows, and fake nose, huh? and also fake glasses. Right. So really look real. So it's like fake mustache and glasses? Yeah, and not like disguise, like um, not really such a good disguise. Ah, something like this one probably. <laughs> hmm. I think I would be good in it. <laughs> and what is her location? Where is she? She's probably laying down on a tree. No. On a tree? Grass. On a grass, okay. And we can see, I think there are clovers. Behind ah, her. Clover you know what clovers are? No, but I know the bakery. Ah. Let's see clovers. These are yes, clovers. They do. And if they have four leaves, they're considered to be lucky. I guess. But many times there are just three leaf clovers. No? Those are clovers. Really? If I looked at the picture I would say we see a lady with a lot of hair. I mean a lot of hair. And she's laying on no. the grass. And her hair is stretched out behind her, and it's like a whole bunch. She's wearing fake glasses with a bushy mustache, a fake nose, and also bushy eyebrows. And she has. And she has her mouth open. And she yeah. is. I don't know. Someone's taking her picture, and they thought it would be funny to do this, or maybe they were on a and picnic. She's like, no. And what time of day do you think it is, Chloe? Probably lunchtime, but. Maybe evening, like three maybe, because it doesn't seem so dark, but it doesn't seem so, so bright. Okay. Okay. Sure. So it could be the middle of the day. She's laying out on a field of grass with clovers. And what do you think the temperature is like? Probably cool. Could be cool. Sure. Could be warm. It doesn't seem cold, but it doesn't seem hot. Uh-huh. Either. Uh -huh. And it looks like she's starting to have a little bit of gray hair. You see that? So I don't know if she's yeah. 
or like white hair or maybe she dyes it i don't know how would you describe her shirt really nice i actually have a similar one just blue okay and, and good yes how do you describe the design stripe what colors <laughs> oh um pink and white and would you say vertical stripes or horizontal stripes vertical Sorry, sorry. Horizontal, vertical. Oh, horizontal. Even I can forget some stuff. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. So I guess that is it. Anything else you want to say? Because that is our end of our lesson for today. Oh yeah, I think I I think um that bridge or front bridge are quite nice and yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So to everyone out there in YouTube land. Thanks for watching our video. We had some fun today. Is YouTube, is YouTube land even a thing? No, but I just say YouTube land. It's like whoever's in the YouTube audience. So we are finished for today. So until next time, I will say see you soon. Ciao. Ciao.